We're gonna mix up some oil-based polyurethane. Thin it down with a little thinner. Put on a coat, let it dry for a day, and then I'm gonna sand it down and put on one final coat. Thanks for watching this video, everybody. I hope you've liked it so far. If you had, why don't you hit the like button and the subscribe button down below? It'd really help me out. If you've got any questions about what this wood is, how it's been finished, what I've done with it, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Now for one last coat of oil based polyurethane. I think we're done. So I finished this little footstool slash mini table. Came out really nice. Ugh. Weighs a half a ton, but it's solid as can be. And I think it's a pretty little project. If you get a chance to work with green wood, I really recommend it. It's a pleasure to work with hand chisels and hand planes. It's a lot different than working with wood you get from the lumber store. If you've got a tree that's been recently cut down in your neighborhood, why don't you go ask for a chunk of it? Try and make one of these yourself. I think you'll find it a very rewarding project. Thanks for watching and come back for more videos on woodworking and crafting with me, the Sunday Carpenter. See you next time. Feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I always read the comments and I love getting them. So I got a quick question for all you out there in YouTube land. If you can see this big hunkin' slab of root I got next to me. Um, I'm looking for an idea of what to do with this. So if you got an idea of something I can do that's creative with this root, please type that down below and let me know. This is Polonia uh, Japanese Kiri. K-I-R-I. So if you got any ideas for that project or a new project with that wood, please let me know.